I left off the last video uh, showing my neighbor's mountain bike course that he's working on. And this was just a big pool of water. I think it did fill up with a couple feet of water and he has since put in a drain. So let's go look at that. And there's the exciting drain. We actually haven't had rain in a few days, which is kind of odd for the Northeast. And there's a few other spots here that are also pouring water. Have to be careful walking, there's still a lot of mud. Like, over, over there is another pipe pouring water. And that's going out a different way than this pipe. Which as far as I can tell, is just a little bit of drainage in this area, in this general area. It's not even coming from further away. It's just right there. It's draining from that little pool right there where it's coming out of the hillside. So I'm at the other cistern here and the house that the pipe runs to uh, is just down over there. It's only like 50 feet lower than I am. So this wouldn't have been providing very good water pressure if that was its intention. And you can see the, the outflow right there. And that does go that way, right out to that house. And then there's the inflow here, which is not doing anything. So either this is plugged up or decommissioned or something else. I don't know, we're gonna find out. Oh, let's get this back in place. Don't want any critters to fall in there and perish. Okay, so that's back in place. And this pipe, you can see it runs up here and it runs up there. And I can see little bits of it further up. So let's go find out where this pipe comes from. Now for reference, the spring that I'm gonna be using in my big hydro system is, I don't know, eighth of a mile that way, quarter of a mile almost, down that way, but up the hill. So this would be probably going to another spring. We'll find out. There's the tank down there, and the pipe's coming up here. You can see it there. It goes up to that concrete box. So let's go see what's in there. All right, here we are. Now let's see what's inside, if anything. Judging by how dry it is, I don't think there's any water in here. Oh boy, that's a big salamander. All right. Let's take a look at this. First, I noticed there's a, a really big centipede that's like the type that you don't want to touch. Shut up. All right, now that Mr. Choo Choo has gone away, we look inside. Now, there's a lot of um, leaf litter and whatever, probably four or five inches I dug off of there. So this has been up here for quite some time unattended. And let's look inside and see what we find. Look at that big guy. Sally Salamander. If I had to guess, that'd be uh, six to eight inches long. And so there is water flowing in. It's just not flowing out through that pipe. Probably there's a leak in the cistern. I'll shut that back up. So, right here at the edge of the hill, I'm noticing there's some rocks there. Uh, typically where you have a steeper portion of a hill would be a more likely place for a spring to exit. I'm not sure why exactly. 
but obviously it's exiting into this concrete tank, which is very large and built into the hillside. Like I'm only seeing the top 10% of it and it's all poured concrete. So clearly they had hoofed up here a whole bunch of concrete. And this is a very steep hill to get up. Uh, I had a hard time getting up here just myself with the camera. Of course, I'm trying to not slip and lose the camera, but all these leaves are really slippery. So they might have even like built some steps or something to get up here. Wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if there are steps. So this is an active spring, but I think all the water's leaving through through the ground below it. Um, maybe a leak or something. And this almost seems like it's high enough to be just the overflow. Or they might have had a pump in here and pumped the water out. I don't know. Or there might be another pipe down below, like I said. Um, but it's, it's not working. Or maybe it is working. Maybe it's going somewhere other than that cistern down there. I don't know. Um, I'm noticing some water in the hillside right over there. And right in front of that log right there. So that might be related or might not be. I don't know. This whole hillside's very wet. All right. So that's, I think that's it for that. I'm gonna cover it back up with some rocks. And here's a piece of wood that's pretty much rotted away completely. Now let's go see if we can find any sort of source for the other big spring box that was over there that, that's sort of like this one, um, but a little bit less steep to get to. So I'll keep my eye out for some other black poly pipe going up the hillside over there. Hey yo, you guys know where I am. <laughs> Funny little intro there, not intro, mid, mid video. Uh, that other catchment tank is down over there that I was going to try to find the source for. I might still, I'm going to have to walk down that way. But it just kind of turns out the way that I walked up along that mountain bike trail was way over there. So I just walked up along the power lines and back down here. So, what do we have here? This little bonus footage for you guys that I did not put in the title or description. First we got a bucket here complete with some rocks and some algae growing and some water flowing in here but a lot of the water is flowing past now the last time I was up here was uh, December it's now May so it's been five plus months since I visited this to see what it's doing and I put in uh, you know the catchment bucket there Oh, if you're a new viewer that's not familiar with this whole project, click the link up there, or links in the description. So, looks like my bucket here, I did not bring the right footwear, is uh, not flowing water, but the spring is flowing good. So I'm going to have to come up here some sometime, and I want to dig this out, remove some of those big rocks off to bring up a pry bar to try to get further up in there to catch the water at its source and then divert this whole catchment tank here because clearly any sort of solution like this bucket would require maintenance every few months and I don't want to have to be coming up here in the middle of winter. It's hard enough to walk when it walk up here when it's nice. So let's clear this out and see uh, how much flow we're getting because there's uh you know i have the bucket and i can just record it after in uh, post-production to find out how many gallons per minute slowing and i've seen multiple different readings of gallons per minute on this um, i think that this bucket and pipe will flow a maximum of 15 gallons a minute and there's been times like two times ago that i was up here when i put that in it was flowing uh, twice as much water as what would flow through the bucket. So it was probably close to 30 gallons per minute. 
which would equate to around a kilowatt of potential power. Uh, for reference, this is at 255 feet elevation from my turbine site. So let's clear this out and uh, see what it flows. Not lose my Canon M6 to the water. Uh, I just discovered today that my tripod is broken, so I need to get a new one. Or one of you guys could buy a, a tripod. I have a, a link in the description for uh, a few different tripods on my wish list. I need to get like a swivel microphone base or something. Because right now, depending on which side of the camera I'm on, I need to flip the microphone around. Come on. I like these more informal videos. Uh, I don't have to care about production quality near as much. Not that it's a huge concern of mine. <laughs> All right, looks like the filter bucket is full of water. So clearly it's a uh, draining down the pipe, that's the issue. Uh-huh, uh-huh, see? That's all it was. That was fouling up the bucket. Woo. Thought that was my camera. Apparently it was just a rock. Okay, so that's, that's flowing good now. Luckily it was only a small issue not like filled with silt and <laughs> that bucket is not draining even though it's pouring full water so we'll see I am I am clogged it oh microphone stupid microphone let's flip it around a uh, solution for my microphone is to actually get two of them just put one on one channel and one on the other channel and then in post-production, I could just switch between microphones that I'm using. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not get my feet wet. <sighs> okay. So, we can see here, it's porting full water. And I'll measure it just for kicks and giggles. I know that's not the correct saying, but this is trying to be a, a PG channel, kids. And that's draining down some. So it might actually be pouring all the water eventually. I just had to drain that pool of water there. You can see the, the blow by or flow by and eh, stuff there, whatever. Which is less than half of it. So that's good. Well, not good. I mean, I wish the flow was higher, but that's still like, I think 500 watts. When that pipe there is full of water, and saturated, it's like a good for 500 watts of power. I don't remember if that's before or after efficiencies. That's still a lot of power. You can see a lot of moss growth here, or algae. So that's interesting. Uh, tick check. I don't see any ticks there. No ticks there. I already got one tick off of me earlier today. Uh, up near that other spring box that I showed you, the first thing. There's lots of ticks on this hillside. I've, you know, cross fingers, I've never had Lyme's, Lyme's disease, which is a prevalent thing here. Even if it thaws out just a little bit in December and January here, our dogs will bring ticks into the house, even with uh, Soresto collars, fresh Soresto collars, which are, I think, the best collar or best cleaning tick solution there is. Not that that's a plug for them, it's just, you know, personal opinion. It's not like any of you are my clients or our clients. Not my clients, I don't own the veterinary hospital. I mean, I do own the veterinary hospital, but I'm not the vet. Well, who knows? Maybe some of you are my client. Our client. Jeez, why do I keep saying that? Okay. So it did 
empty out this catchment area enough to the point where water is not actively flowing in here. And I can walk here now without getting my tootsies wet. So we still have to let it equalize a few more minutes and we'll see how many gallons per minute that is. All right, that's fairly well equalized. I think if I were to use this, I could just take some of this gravel and small stones and whatever and put it around the buck and that would act as a gravel filter. And that would keep out, you know, a stupid stick and leaf that would foul the system. All right, let's go see how many gallons per minute. All right, we can see a few bubbles. So obviously the pipe isn't saturated. So we're not flowing full amounts right now. You see that stick just fall out? Yeah, me too. <sighs> All right. So I guess that's that. You know, I'll do the calculations. I'll put them up right here. Um, yep. A little update on this whole project as a project um, the pipe I did order it and it's in so I need to go pick it up and I'll do a video on that soon uh, telling you what size pipe I chose to go with I think that's inch and a quarter and that too I don't know whatever we'll see and there's another pipe right down there and I'm I suspect that maybe that pipe went to either kind of our house or that other cistern, the square one in the last video. Or there's another pipe here that kind of goes that way too. And I lose track of it and goes over there, that way somewhere. I just found two other pipes. There's one steel pipe there. So maybe that was used a way long time ago. And then I just found another black pipe here that's cut off. That may or may not be the other pipe I just showed you right there. I don't know. It looks like there's a little path here. So I think this might've been like the primary direction of access. I'm a little bit below the spring which is right there, you can see the bucket. And this would be my primary access point as well, which is this uh, road here. All right, I'm directly above the square spring box um, from the first video. And this is the only like spring, maybe spring type thing that goes down there. And I'm directly above it, it's right down there. You can't see it, it's kind of far away. So I, I have to take the strong guess and say that one of those pipes that I just showed you leading out of that spring is, uh, is going to be one of the pipes that feeds into that. So, whatever. All right. Uh, hope you liked that video. You know, give me a thumbs up or like whatever the heck they call it. Uh, subscribe, hit that bell button, and... Uh, you know you want to leave a comment. I want you to leave a comment. That's all. See you around.